Hey everyone, my name is Rachel Joy and today I am going to talk to you about my hair journey. So I have naturally black hair, it's thick but it's not coarse, it's quite light on the top but because I have a lot of it, it's very heavy at the bottom. I've got a lot of hair and uh, I've done a lot of things to it in the past. <laughs> Overall, I feel like my hair journey, it tells me that I was really being bold and brave with whatever I did with my hair to potentially hide my insecurities. When I was a toddler I had a bowl cut <laughs> and then I also had very long hair till I was 14 and my hair was always long. I feel like I was identified as small skinny Rachel with really really long hair. I was very low maintenance. I still am very low maintenance with my hair. It was everywhere. It was just very messy and it was fine because that's the way I liked it. I wasn't precious with my hair as a child. I have some really fun memories. I remember asking my mum to plait my hair a lot because it was a way of me spending time with her when she wasn't working at night time and sometimes my dad would do my hair in the mornings and I would take it out because I never thought it was good enough but I loved the fact that they were there to do my hair I really enjoyed that it's like my way of getting that attention from them there was one comment that has always stuck with me and I must have been younger than 10 years old one of the aunts said to me that my hair was too long I was too skinny all of the vitamins and all of the nutrients that my body was supposed to have was going towards my hair and I should basically eat more. I feel like that kind of stuck with me for a while. Maybe I didn't like my hair for that reason because being skinny and having long hair was always what people used to comment about me and I feel like it gave me a little bit of a complex. Anyway, so I got my hair cut for the first time when I was 14 and it was such a huge thing because my hair was just always really long and I decided that I was going to cut my hair to my shoulders and I just remember my dad not being very happy about it because I feel like it was like I was now making that decision to just becoming a teenager basically but I was very excited and I got my hair cut from then on I was experimental with my hair when I was 16 I used to be in a girl group and <laughs> We went to the Philippines, we were given some hairstyles and, and looks and stuff which is just so 90s pop star wannabe manufacturer, I don't know. My haircut was not great, it was not great at all. My best friend's haircut was also not great. We had long hair and they cut our hair short up to here. I had like a bob cut of some sort which does not suit my round facial shape to begin with. And then if I turned around at the back you would see like, imagine a bob with a Christmas tree just falling behind. Ugh, I just can't even explain to you. I went back to school and everybody made fun of my hair. I then had highlights the next year. The year after that, I started to dye my hair red. I love the color red. It's one of my favorite colors. And for some reason, I thought it would be great if I put it on my head. <laughs> So I did, and it was like a really nice tint to begin with. I just kept dyeing my hair red right up until my late 20s, I'd say. And it went through stages of different shades of red as well. <laughs> and I like to think it represented different stages of where I was learning. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. And then I decided to get my hair permed. It wasn't a good choice. I did it twice. The red became light, so I had to keep dyeing my hair. So my hair was just damaged. And for two years, I had permed hair, or sometimes half straight hair, half permed hair. It was terrible. <laughs> oh my God. And then my 18th birthday was coming up and I begged my friend to cut my hair and she tried her best and it wasn't great. My point is, that's how, I don't wanna say reckless, but that's how trusting I was with other people and my hair. I was really trying to be bold and brave to maybe compensate for some insecurities that I had. I wanted to be fiery. I wanted people to know that I was strong and I can stand up for myself and somehow I believed that that would be represented in the color of my hair. In my late 20s, at the time where I started to really look inwards, discover the person that I really was, I went to the Philippines in 2004 14. My red dye was growing out and I had very long hair up to my bottom and I needed it cut. I asked them to cut a few inches off just so that it was like underneath my chest area um, but instead they had cut it right up to here and I was absolutely mortified. But it was okay because I kind of thought okay well now I'm just gonna let my hair grow out and I'm just going to appreciate how beautiful
beautiful my hair is without doing anything to it. And then two years ago, I decided to get a balayage. And I think that's probably the first time ever where I did something to my hair purely for the aesthetic of it and not because I wanted to express myself or because I wanted a change because something had annoyed me in my life or something. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much my journey. Oh, and there was also a time when I was a kid and I watched something on one of the morning shows on TV and they said, if you tie your hair up in a ponytail and then just snip off the ends, you'll get really perfect layers. And I did it and I cannot tell you how mad my mother was at me. So my hair now, it's not in the best condition because it is treated with color and stuff, but I still really love it. I love having the lightness in my hair. Before doing all of this to my hair, I had very soft, silky hair. I really appreciated it. It was just soft. I very rarely had to condition it. And I remember the first time I washed my hair after getting my balayage. The silkiness and the softness was just gone. But it was okay because I was happy with how it had turned out. Um, so now I really, really focus on making sure that it is properly hydrated, it's conditioned well so that it still feels really soft and just looks healthy. At the moment, I'm really enjoying the Love, Beauty and Planet range. This range here helps to keep my hair soft, hydrated, it also tames the frizz and to maintain the conditioned feel. I also really like this Tresemme Mist Spray which I use on days two and three after having my hair shampooed and it just really hydrates it and makes it feel like I've just washed my hair. So that's it guys, I hope that you enjoyed my hair journey, I hope that wherever you are, you are keeping safe and looking after your hair. <laughs>